What's up, y'all? Technique, Block Rebel, LBC. Oh, man, you know, uh, maybe being born in the 80s had a lot to do with it. <laughs> that was, the, that was the, the, the creation. That was the time frame for hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And uh, growing up, that's, a, that's all, that's all we seen. So it was like, in my household, it was kind of like it was, I had no choice, you know what I'm saying? Listen, my pops used to, used to be a low rider, you know what I mean? Actually still is to this day. But um, coming up, I was listening to Grandmaster uh, Flash, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Furious Five, you know what I mean? Uh, Curtis Blow, Houdini, you know? Uh, and I, I really wasn't in that era, but that's what I grew up listening to. So I know it all like the back of my hand, you know what I'm saying? And even coming to the West Coast, Mix Master Spade, Tidy T, you know what I'm saying? Like Disco, Danny Captain, Rap, like, a, let me stop, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I grew up in hip hop, so it was inevitable. You know, hip hop itself, the art form, the freedom of it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, early on, you know, getting into it, picking up my pen myself, and, uh, you know, then having the privilege to link up with, with cats like Snoop Dogg and, you know what I'm saying? That, that whole era, that, which was a whole nother evolution in hip hop. So with that, you know, I pretty much embody the whole art form, you know what I'm saying? So I am hip hop. I think the hip hop form in its, in its, in its rawest form, man, is, you know, not to advocate it, but it's like pure like cocaine, you know what I'm saying? Like you could put it in a, it can morph in a bunch of different things, but when you take it back to like, you know, that's something that like, 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 uh, like my boy KRS said, you know what I'm saying? Cocaine business runs America. Like for all my life, that's what it's been. So I, I, re I always relay hip hop to dope, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I get my inspiration from. I'm a fiend, you know what I'm saying? Rakim, microphone fiend, you know what I mean? The biggest challenge I feel is the, the corporate evolution of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop is an underground art form, you know? It started out in the streets, you know? and it evolved into the buildings. So, you know, I remember it was a time where uh, the A&Rs and all of the folks used to have to really, really come to the hood, you know, to and to the neighborhoods to, to find new talent. And then it became a point where they was offering so much bread that we had to go knock down their doors to get in, and they held the key to, to what, what popped and what didn't pop. So um, I think that was the, the greatest challenge, but it's dope to know that in you know 2012, 2013, you know since the since the whole music business has evolved, it's come back to its essence. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the whole art form of hip hop has come back to the essence. If you want it, you can get out there and get it. And that's where we at with you know, Block Rebel. You know, that's that's what the the whole meaning behind that is is is, is just raw from the street, the pure talent, a collective of talent getting together and uh, pushing the line with it, you know, from 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 young to old, you know, if, if, if hip hop live in you, um, whatever you want it to be, gangster rap, you know, East Coast, West Coast, you know what I mean, we're, we're at a more universal time, homie, we're in a we're in a global era right now, so everything must come together and, and, and make its mark like that. I want people to know that, that if, if it's in you, you can do what you want, what you want with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and especially coming from where I come from, like the biggest, one of the biggest stars in hip hop came out of my city. You know what I'm saying? And since then, he's like, yo, them some big shoes to fill. And nobody would never fill them, rightfully so. Like, you know, it is what it is. So at this particular point, it's all about trailblazing, man, and showing the different elements and the different side of it with me. So if, if anything, at the end of the day, I want people to see the originality, man, and, and the drive, man, and the, and the tenacity that comes with, you know, just doing what you want to do. So.